am the most awkward person I have ever met in my life. And when I say that, my friends try to help me. They're like, you are not awkward. You're so pretty. <laughs> yeah, those are different. <laughs> like, you can be pretty and still hug someone. That went in for the handshake. <laughs> In my defense, I also think that's a strange way to end a job interview. <laughs> I think a lot of people are awkward because they hang back socially. I am awkward because I move forward without a plan. <laughs> Recently, I was involved in this very awkward breakup. And I mean, it was going the way breakups go, you know? Like, I was crying. It was like, oh my God, I knew this was going to happen. I so saw this coming. I knew it. And then the couple that was breaking up was like, can you leave? <laughs> I'm very awkward, but I'm very optimistic. Like, I will probably knock your drink over with my strange hand gestures, but now, the glass is half full. <laughs> I just, I really fundamentally believe you can find good news anywhere. Like, fun fact, actually, recently in New York, catcalling rates have gone down. Woo! Yeah! So I've been told. I don't really get catcalled, I get more constructive criticism. Uh, one time I was waiting for a train and I put up my hair and a homeless man yelled at me, much better! <laughs> Uh, my name's Carly. I spell it C-A-R-L-Y because I'm not my parents' creative outlet. <laughs> Carly spelled K-A-R-L-E-I-G-H is a direct result of arts funding being cut from schools. <laughs> As you can probably tell by now, I am a recovering acting major. <laughs> I loved going to school for acting. But at a certain point, you do realize it is just professors telling you off-putting things in the name of art. <laughs> Once, <laughs> <you're right. laughs> Once my professor stopped me in the middle of a scene, it was like, Carly, your body looks like it's apologizing. <laughs> I was like, why are you in my dorm room? <laughs> I am an actor, but I've been getting casting calls for all these really serious shows that I'm not sure I want to audition for because they seem so depressing. Like I got a casting call the other day for a role titled Rape Victim. <laughs> like that is just such an oxymoronic thing to consent to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know a lot of people don't like that joke because they don't know what oxymoronic means. <laughs> I'm 25, I'm single. I'm so glad I am single though because I found that a lot of guys that are my age tend to really overshare. Like the other day I was hooking up with a guy and halfway through he just stopped and was like, my name's Jeff, by the way. <laughs> When you are single, though, people have a lot of input about your personal life. Uh, oh, and by people, I am specifically referring to the third graders I used to teach acting to. <laughs> third graders are like a broken Brita. No filter. <laughs> I showed up to class with my hair down. Immediately, they were like, why do you look nice? How many kids do you have? You don't look like an adult. You look like you're 13. My brother's 14. You should date my brother. <laughs> And I was trying anything to calm them down. I'm like, hey friends, can we quiet down a little bit so I can get your brother's number? <laughs> but the next time I learned my lesson, I tried to neutralize, I wore my hair up like I normally do. And they did appreciate it actually. Uh, Cause at the second I got there, some kid in the back yells out, much better. <laughs> Thank you all, I've been trying to see that.